Hello guys. So today uh, we are going to make video on the basic operation operating training regarding to the cotter machines. We know that in the different different type of surgeries in the OT complex, nowadays doctors are using cotter machines for the cutting and coagulation. So how to make the basic connections of cotter machines? I will show you. So you just you can see this is the thing, but Shalya uh, DX cotter. You can see. So first of all. You just locate the cottery properly. Second thing, you have to connect the power cord. See, this is the power cord. They have provided with the cottery machine. At the back side, there is a power plug. You just connect it. Right? Then, after that, very, very important, with the cottery machines, they have provided, this is called a patient plate, right? which is always located at the, uh, what we can say that below of the patient, right? This is nothing but your quarter pencil. So there are two type of, uh, what we can say that, uh, forceps, we can say that uh, pencils, quarter pencils, monopolar, bipolar. So it have only single one active tip, that's what is called monopolar. Suppose if you have two tips, that means it is called bipolar. So uh, out of that one is active as a, one is work as active electrode and second one is act as a passive electrode. But in the monopolar, it will use as an active electrode and whatever the uh, current or whatever the energy has to be received by the uh, patient plate has to be given to the machine. That's why it is called passive electrode, right? So second thing is, see with the machine they have provided the foot switch, right? It have, uh, they have provided identical color coding for the foot switch, blue is for the coagulation and uh, yellow is for the cutting. At the back side, they have mentioned the names, right? At the bipolar, you have to connect the bipolar. At the monopolar, you have to connect the monopolar. After that, we will connect. This is a silicon basin plate, you can see. So, they have given different, different sockets, you can observe. This is called bipolar, this is called monopolar socket, and this is called patient. So here you can connect patient plate, right? Now I have to connect a patient plate. After that, I am going to connect monopolar electrode. So here they have provided monopolar electrode. So I can connect it here. So I will show you there are different different modes which are present on the cautery, bipolar, cutting, coag. With help of this arrow you can increase or decrease the settings. If patient plate is not connected properly you will get the red alarm here. If red alarm is there that means machine will not work. Machine will work only when patient plate is connected properly. Now I am going to switch on the cautery. At the time of starting, at the time of switching on the machine, machine will just self-analyze all the things, right? Now machine get on. Second thing, I have connected monopolar electrode. So how how to test machine is working or not, right? So for that you have to take one soap. So this is one soap. We just put it on the patient plate, and uh, you can put some water droplets on the soap. Right. Just increase the settings. So cutting settings I am going to increase. So doctor will decide the values according to surgery. Right. So I am going to select any value. So now I just I have select the values. See, now there is no any indication, that means it is connected properly to the patient plate and if it is not connected to the patient plate, it will give you alarm as well as, right, red indications. If it get connected, that only time it will get removed. Now I am going to cut, come close. So again I am going to repeat, yellow is for the cutting, blue is for the coag. So now just I am going to cut, you just observe. See, can you observe? Right? You can observe the sparking on this. Can you observe? 
right? So I am going to increase the value again. See, now see. Can you observe the sparking is here? So, can you observe? So, in this way, you can check cautery, either it is working or not, before using in the procedures. So, I am going to tell you again what are the basic precautions you have to take when you are going to hold the cutting electrodes, never touch to the open surface. Sometimes, might be it will be cause of shock. Your pottery must be grounded properly. So, whatever the leakage current has to be there present inside the circuit, it will be goes to the ground. One more very very important thing. Suppose I am going to disconnect the patient plate, right? In this way, it is not connected properly. I am going to give the shock. It will not works, right? It is not works. Is it work? No, it will not work. But if accidentally pottery it works, that means there will be a chances of getting a shock to the patient right so sometime what happen doctor doesn't have time to uh, uh, use these switches to cut and coag so they have provided this foot switch with help of foot switch you can with help of foot switch see with help of foot switch also you can operate can you observe right with help of foot switch you can cut or you can coag can you observe this type of sparking is there right Okay, so in this way you can use the cord ring. Again, I am going to repeat. First thing you have to connect the power cord. Second thing you have to connect the patient plate. After connection of patient plate, you have to check this indication is disappeared. Then you just connect electrode. Then you connect uh, foot switches, right? Then switch on the cord ring. Select required parameters and check it onto the soap. If there will be a sparking at time of coagulation, that means your cord ring is working. Properly. Thank you.